please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. Cote d'Ivoire beat Cameroon. Michael Ngado Ngaji points to the poor condition of the lawn and he promises a beautiful lawn in the return match. The indomitable Lions of Cameroon are obviously having trouble digesting their defeat against the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire on the second day qualifiers for Qatar 2022 World Cup. Cameroonian central defender Michael Ngado Ngaji points to the poor state of the lawn at Ebimpe Stadium, which according to him has strongly influenced the quality of play. Indeed, Ivory Coast has relaunched in these qualifiers, beating Cameroon 2-1 on Monday, September 6, after a poor result against Mozambique 0-0. During the post-match press conference, Michael Ngado Ngaji deplored the catastrophic state of the lawn at Ebimpe Stadium, which did not allow the two teams to deploy normally. He declared, Today you saw, we lost, we tried it, but it was complicated for both teams to play on this lawn. He promised the Ivorians a good loan in the return match which will be played in Cameroon. To what he said, he added, But for the return match in Cameroon, I believe that we will have a very good pitch and the two teams will express themselves better and we will see which of the two will keep the lead of Pool D. I believe they have mastered their stadium. They knew how to play. In the first half, we tried to develop a game and get the ball out from behind, which was complicated in the first half. In the second half, we said to ourselves that we had to do like them. They knew how to take us in the depth. They knew how to use the depth and the spaces behind. And I think that's what hurt us a little in the second part. It should be noted that with this victory over Cameroon, the Elephants temporarily take the lead of Group D. This ranking does not frighten Michael Ngadu Ngaji, who still believes in the chances in Cameroon to turn things around and go to Qatar 2022. Michael further added, we don't have to put pressure on ourselves for the rest of the qualifying. I believe that there is still four games to come, including the home game against Ivory Coast. I think that will be the most decisive match. If we continue to play the next two games against Mozambique with good results, anything is still possible.